Well, the day has finally arrived. It's time to hook up the electronics enclosure to the mill and see if we can get some motion out of the axis. Power on the controller. Power on the computer. And then I'll launch the Linux CNC app. I'm running about a quarter amp on X, quarter amp on Y, and a half an amp on Z, which is good. Set the speed to slow, and I guess we'll start with X minus. It's running. X plus. Let's turn the speed up a bit. 100 inches per minute. I still don't have limit switches on this, so I'm going to be taking it slow. Why? And Z. Z positive? I'll have to reverse that. Oh, it seems like I'm missing something there. Fine going down, but not so much going up. What I discovered with that Z-axis and the clunking noise, first thing I did, which actually fixed it, was to turn the voltage up on the Z-axis. I had it running about 35 volts, 34.5, and I turned it up to about 48, and once I turned it up to 48, the noise went away. Of course, now I'm wondering what it will do for speed. Let's try 200. Two seventy. Four hundred. Nope, it did not like four hundred. My Z alarmed out. I'll have to reboot the system in order to bring back the Z axis. I just moved the computer monitor closer to the mill. Here we've got the Y positive, Y minus, X minus, X plus. Here I can set the speed. Fifteen inches per minute, slow like a turtle. Turn the speed up. Forty and a half inches per minute. One last thing I can check here is if the mill will actually turn on. I changed the direction that the z-axis moves by flipping the motor direction dip switch on the stepper motor driver. I would call this test successful. One last thing I'm curious about here, I want to see what the amp draw is when I'm running these axes. About a half an amp on the way down, 0.8 amps on the way up. Let's turn the speed up. There's 150 on the Z. Once again, half an amp going down. One amp going up. Three hundred inches per minute. Two amps on the way up. X. 
Y. I don't have much travel on Y. I gotta be careful. About a 150. Seventy. Let me go a little higher on the Z. See if I can get. There's three ninety. Two and a half amps. That's 450 inches per minute. And it alarmed out, couldn't keep up with it. Now the next step in the project is gonna to be to go through and install limit switches and homing switches. In the next video, I'll get the axes moving around with some G-code.